Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Spotlight with Team Zimmerman. I'm Chelsea Zimmerman and I am here today with my friend Kelly from the Central Alberta Humane Society and we are so excited to have you here on today's episode and uh, yeah, we're just going to hop right into things. Thanks for being with us, Kelly. Thank you for having us. Yes. <laughs> us as in all the animals. Yes. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, right? I mean, we are here. We're going to do things a little bit differently today on our episode. We're going to really showcase the, um, the building and the facility and what they do and who they are. And so uh, Kelly's going to give us a tour around and we're just so excited for that. Um, can you just tell us just quickly before we get started, Kelly, what is your position here? I am the fund development coordinator. So that means I'm in charge of raising funds for the facility. Uh, we are not government funded, which is a huge uh, challenge yeah. to operate. Uh, our operating expenses are about 1.4 million per year. Wow. Um, so that's a challenge to raise that much money through private donations and through adoptions and various other um, activities like the fundraiser, the garage sale, mm -hmm. the, the events that we hold. Absolutely. No, and I mean, it's so interesting when you are not funded, how, you know, you have to be creative and you have to get those funds in some way because all these little animals, I'm just surrounded by all these beautiful little kittens. They are just so beautiful. The Humane Society um, is an adoption center dedicated to the rehoming of unwanted, abandoned, and stray companion animals, so pets. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we value the lives of all animals and we will do what we can to rescue and provide medical care, rehabilitation, uh, whenever possible. As a max adoption facility, we do not euthanize for space, but instead we operated a, a managed admin, admission system. So when animals get adopted, this allows us to t intake more animals. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in one of our cat um, rooms. Um, this room is a great room because volunteers and staff and the general public and birthday parties and our summer camps come in here to hang out with the cats mm -hmm. and socialize them and get them more adoptable. So this is a great space for that. And we have three rooms that we can do that in. That's so amazing. So amazing. And I love that you guys don't go, like the first route is just like euthanization. Like you give them a chance. And that's really what this is about, is about giving these the pets that need somewhere to go, a place to go that they can learn, like you said, some, some manners and some things, you know, Tolerance just so good. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and being more social Amazing. with humans, right? Absolutely. Um, we would never ever euthanize. No. No. Oh, that's unless so good. It's, unless it's due to medical mm -hmm. necessity. Oh, that's but, so good to know. And then the other part of that is we mm -hmm. never take in more than we can handle. Right because that's not fair to the animals and it's not fair to the staff. Yeah, right. absolutely. So there are lots of rescues who overtake. Absolutely. Which is a challenge too, but yeah. the need is so high. Yeah, oh wow, that's so good. Tell us about these pet profiles. So these pet profiles show all of the dogs in our care. Um, we do not want the public to go in and just see dogs for the fun of seeing dogs because it stresses them out. If you'd like to adopt a dog, we want you to have seriously considered it, make an appointment, and then we'll give you a room and make sure that you can see that dog in a less stressful environment so you can see their true personality. We also have some cats on here and our bunnies um, just to show some other animals that are available that haven't made it to the front yet. So, Kelly, we are now in the outdoor area for the dogs. Can you tell us a little bit about how it works? 
So with the outdoor kennels, we the dogs get two times a day where they get to come outside and then they take turns in the bigger green spaces and um, they get to, a lot of them are trained and will not pee or poop in their actual in shelter kennels. They will literally wait and hold it to come out here yeah. because that's what they are have been taught from the beginning is, you know, pee and poop outside, please. Right, <laughs> yeah, totally. No, this is so great. It's nice to see that they get this time outside um, and that they're able to, you know, have time to like tear apart a toy and, yes. you know, just be out and and get that outdoors. Like they're not just stuck in the kennel. They're just, they're able to run around and do what dogs do. So this is so great. I, wow, I'm, my mind is blown at how amazing this facility is, truly. So we refer to this as our education room because education is an important part of our mandate. We try to educate the people and children in how to care for an animal, the things that we do here. So in this room we do, we host birthday parties, PD camps, summer camps. We have an eight week summer camp program that runs from July and August. And then as well, we of course hold our AGMs and our staff meetings. We do uh, dog enrichment in here. We do meet and greets in here for, for people if they want to bring in their dog to meet with the dog that they're potentially adopting. Mm. So it's a great multi-function space and we utilize it regularly. We're outside now, it's a little loud. I, it's, we're right on the road, but um, Kelly's just gonna share with us something else that people might not necessarily know about the Central Alberta Humane Society. So of course, we were Red Deer District SPCA. We were located right where that Cap and Flash building is now, but now in 2007, we moved here. And then in 2017, we needed to amend our name as to not be confused with the Alberta SPCA. Okay. So that's why we had to go with Central Alberta Humane Society. Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. And it's less confusing for people and that they know that they can bring Anybody from Central Alberta can, you know, use the services here Absolutely. in Central Alberta. So that's so great. This room here gets me a little emotional, but um, obviously when pets reach the end of their lives, um, they need somewhere to go. And so Kelly's going to share something with us that maybe, maybe you didn't know about the Central Alberta Humane Society. So here at the shelter, we totally have a cremation facility. We are able to take general cremations and offer private cremations and then of course we offer um, the items that can possibly help you deal with the loss of your pet. Mm -hmm. So we offer different types of urns, different types of, of commemorative items um, for you to honor your lost fur baby. Those fur babies just enter our hearts and they live there forever, even when they cross the rainbow bridge. Here, you do have a vet on site. Yes. And that's so wonderful to just know that if you're bringing an animal in, that if they need medical attention or they need x-rays or blood work or anything, that it can be done here, which yes. is so awesome. On site. On site, we yes. We are in the kind of back, back side of, of things. Um, and Kelly was just telling us that they're always accepting donations for towels because as you can see, they need a lot of towels for their pre and post op animals. Um, just here on this side are the kennels where the dogs go immediately when they are being surrendered or dropped off. Um, and it's because they don't know where they've been. They don't know if they are, you know, um, in need of medical attention or anything like that. And so um, they're able to bring the dogs directly into medical care. But then also the need for towels is for these dogs who are post-surgery, or I shouldn't say just dogs, is it it's all wild. animals? Yeah. So yeah, so all of the animals that are in need um, of some, you know, some towels. So if you have extra towels. Or blankets. Or blankets. Those are the kinds of things, yep. Yeah. Uh, dryer sheets. Dryer sheets, okay. <laughs> I will show you our massive washer and dryer. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So these are all items that can be donated right here at the Central Alberta Humane Society, and there's always a need.
So we are in the laundry room that is just full of towels and blankets and we would love to just know, Kelly, how can people volunteer or get involved with the society? So we have lots of volunteer opportunities as simple as cuddling a cat, going in and helping them be more social, or helping us with the daily amounts of laundry. Every animal gets a fresh blanket, a fresh towel, a fresh bed every day, and fresh toys. So the laundry never ends. <laughs> and neither does the need for dryer sheets. Dryer so sheets. We don't want So if you static. are feeling generous and you are wanting to help out, they can always use more dryer sheets, right? Absolutely. Dryer yeah. sheets are a great thing to donate. <laughs> <laughs> bank is available to all Albertans who come in and need food for their animals. Once a month they can come in and they can get one bag of cat food per cat and one bag of dog food per dog. Oh, that's so amazing. It's just so nice and refreshing to hear that there's a program like this available. Again, I'm learning and I think it's just phenomenal that Central Alberta and Alberta as a whole has this type of a service, a pet food bank here. So if you're needing a service like that, or if you know somebody who is, definitely come and check it out. So Kelly's just gonna tell us a little bit more about dog licensing. So we absolutely offer dog licensing here at the shelter. Um, with the dog licensing, if you come into the shelter to get your license or renew your license or replace your tags, we, the Central Alberta Humane Society, maintains or retains more of that fee. Whereas if you go to the city of Red Deer, the city of Red Deer will only give us like $1.50 per renewal. So if you come into the shelter, it's $7. And if you go through the city, it's $1.50 that gets back to the Central Alberta Humane Society. So come here to get your dog licenses. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs>